In this part of the tutorial, we are going to do two methods of color and object recognition at the same time in augmented reality. All right. Because we want to combine uh, both object detection and color detection uh, in the one scene, I want to create uh, another scene and save as an into the scenes folder. I call it multi detection okay uh, it is really important to know that uh, everything of the object detection or color detection is come uh, from the quad object so if we can we can have two quad objects simultaneously or just one with both detections. I prefer to do the second way because it will be more uh, optimized because of the web, uh, webcam texture to mat and also uh, FPS monitor. So uh, let's to do it. First, I want to uh, because we already have multiple object tracking. So I want to add a uh, object detection scene into the here and then copy this quad object and import it to the multi detection scene and remove scene the object detection without saving. Perfect. As you can see, we have the color, I call it object, and it's for color. Okay. I create a copy from the color and quad object, and I call it multi. Right, and hide both of them. Now I have this one, and I don't know. I uh, I think it's better to hide the UI as well. Better understanding. Okay, as you can see, we have. Oh, uh, for better working, uh, it's better to add the final result txt ui element to our scene ui and legacy text i put it here exactly like the previous one and also increase the size okay and i call it final result okay and click on quad and add it to this one for the order it's not important and not or known order as well okay so uh as you can see the difference between uh the quad object and the quad color is the multi-object tracking based and also uh, tensorflow inception webcam okay but the webcam uh, webcam texture to mat and fps monitor are the same so uh, but there is a, a small difference in webcam texture to mat of course they are the same with both of them as you can see but there is a difference and in here uh, webcam texture to mat has already three functions on initialize it on dispose it and on error accord look at this it's try to call for each events uh, each actions uh, call a specific function from 
TensorFlow Inception webcam texture. So, as you can see, for the quad color, we have the same method to call a specific functions from multi object tracking based on color. So, I want to do something like this copy the multiple tracking based on color component and paste on quad multi. Okay, now we have both of them multi tracking based on color and TensorFlow Inception webcam. But in here, I need to add the uh, functions of the multi uh, object tracking based on color to webcam texture to mat as well. So I click on plus and drag and drop the multi object to the here and call look at this it's called the helper initialize it so we will call the function it already has helper initialize it exactly like here it's for color quad color uh, for this one, uh, one webcam texture to mat helper initialize it. So, on webcam, that's it. Perfect. And for the second one, on dispose it, drag and drop multiple objects to the here, and then we already have dispose it, helper dispose it. Perfect. And the third one, we need to add and this one and error occurred okay I think everything is fine now I need to uh, check it out is there any problem in the webcam texture is fine and in here it's fine as well and in here we can define any option we want and also we can add if there is an order in the list try to invoke them if there is not okay don't call them because in this situation we will have an error it says okay it is an empty variable so we need to come back to the uh, visual studio and edit this part if not null and it is the same method for this one as well but order I propose to do something like this for uh, multiple object tracking color in here and tracking detect target detected color order sorry and for dot one I think everything is just fine now if we don't have any function it's supposed to be uh, fine without any problem now let's see let's test it bravo it can detect the color and also it can detect the object the color code and the object name if I detect the Lucian what will happen we found it it works but without invoking any object from here sounds great okay now we have 
both detections systems simultaneously and we can uh, define any functions we want for object detection or color detection or for both of them at the same time or different functions for each one so you have a free hands to do anything you want perfect let's go to the next step Thank you.